So today we're going to add and subtract monomials and polynomials. So first we'll start out with monomials. Um, basically when you have monomials, all you're doing is you're combining your like terms. So in order for it to be a like term, you have to have the same variable. And the same exponent. Same variable and same exponent. So if I look at example A, I have 12p cubed plus 11p squared plus 8p cubed. So I notice that I've got two of them that have a p cubed, right? So I can combine those. So what's 12 plus 8? Anybody? 20. So that means I've got 20p cubed, and then I just have the 11p squared. I can't combine that with anything, so I just leave it like that. So my answer would be 20p cubed plus 11p squared. All right, so example B, I've got 5x squared minus 6 minus 3x plus 8. Can I combine the x's at all on that one? No, because one's an x squared and one's just a plain old x. But I notice I've got two numbers. I've got a negative 6 and a positive 8. So I can combine my constants. So I want to write it in standard form. So I'll go ahead and start with my 5x squared minus 3x. And then if I have negative 6 plus 8, what's that going to come out to? Positive 2, yeah. All right. So on your whiteboards, I'll let you guys give this one a try. And write your answer in standard form. Okay, so this time my like terms were the positive 3y squared and the negative 7y squared. So when you combine those, it's negative 4y squared minus 2y minus 8. Okay, let's put this one in your notes. t squared plus 2s squared minus 4t squared minus s squared. So t squared and negative 4t squared, we have the same variable, the same exponent, but we also have a 2s squared and a minus s squared. So first let's look at our t's. You have to remember what is in front that we assume when there's no coefficient? We assume there's a 1 in front of that t, right? Mm -hmm. So 1 minus 4 is equal to mm -hmm. negative 3. So that means it's negative 3t squared. And then with the s, we also assume there's a 1. So 2 minus 1, you're just left with 1. So a positive s squared. So negative 3t squared plus s squared would be the answer to that one. So on your whiteboards, I would like you to do 2x to the 8th plus 7y to the 8th minus x to the 8th minus y to the 8th. Um, again, so you want to make sure you don't forget that we assume that there is a 1 in front of the x and the y here. So 2 minus 1, I'm just left with 1 x to the 8th. And then 7 minus 1, I have 6 y to the 8th. Most of you had that. Um, when you have different variables, you mean like the x to the 8th and the y to the 8th? Yeah. 
Yeah, if you wrote it 6y to the 8th or plus x to the 8th, that would have been okay too. I tend to stick with alphabetical order, but you don't have to. Okay. All right, here's another one for you guys to do on your whiteboards. All right, so every single one of these has an m squared n. That's my variable right there, m squared n. So all you're doing is looking at the numbers in front of them. So what's 10 plus 4? 14. 14. And then 14 minus 8? 6. 6. So your answer is 6m squared n. Okay, there's no, no plus signs in the answer. That's all being multiplied. All right, polynomials, it's still the same thing. If I'm adding polynomials, I'm just combining my like terms. So if I look at this one, I've got a 5m squared and an m squared. So together, that's 6m squared. Then I have um, the minus m. There's only one of those, so I'll just write that next, minus m. And then my numbers can be combined. I have a positive 2 and a positive 3. And so that's 5, so plus 5. So the answer would be 6m squared minus m plus 5. So you guys are going to do that one on your whiteboards. Okay, looks like most of you had it. If we combine our m squared, so we get 5m squared. And then m minus 13, we get minus 12m. All right, next thing we're going to look at is subtraction. All right, so if we are subtracting polynomials, the main thing you want to remember is distribute the negative. But don't forget to do that. If you forget to distribute the negative to all the terms in the parentheses, then you're going to get messed up so and get the wrong answer. So make sure you distribute the negative before you combine your like terms. So on example one, I have 7m to the fourth minus 2m squared. That's my first polynomial. And I'm subtracting 5m to the fourth minus 5m squared plus 8. So it's as if I have an, a negative 1 out in front, and I'm going to multiply each of those by negative 1. So the first ones are the same, 7m to the fourth minus 2m squared. Nothing happens to that part. But then if I have a negative 1 times 5, I get negative 5m to the fourth. And then negative 1 times negative 5 gives me a positive 5m squared. And then negative 1 times 8 gives me a negative 8. So then you just have to combine your like terms. So I've got a 7m to the 4th and a minus 5m to the 4th. So 7 minus 5 is 2. So I've got 2m to the 4th. And then I have a negative 2m squared and a positive 5m squared. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So plus 3m squared. And then I've got that minus 8 left over by itself there. So we write it. So your answer would be 2m to the 4th plus 3m squared minus 8. So you want to make sure you remember to make everything the opposite in that second parenthesis. You want to distribute the negative. All right, so on your whiteboards, I'm going to have you guys give that one a try. And make sure you distribute your negative. No, missing something. I'm um, not six. No. Mm -hmm. Make sure you think about a negative times a negative. You're doing a negative times a negative for that y to the eighth, aren't you? Um, shouldn't be a 2. Oh. 
Okay, so you want to make sure that you guys remember to distribute that negative. So I end up with 2x to the 8th plus 7y to the 8th minus x to the 8th plus y to the 8th because the negative times the negative is positive. So when you combine your like terms, you ended up with x to the 8th plus 8y to the 8th. All right, let's try one more of those on your whiteboards. Negative 10x squared minus 3x plus 7, and then you're subtracting x squared minus 9. So again, be careful with that second parentheses that you're subtracting. Okay, so... Um, if you make everything the opposite in the second one, that becomes a negative x squared and a positive 9. So we end up with negative 11x squared minus 3x plus 16. Looked like most of you ended up getting that one. Alrighty. And that's all I have for you guys. Oh, nope. That's not all I have for you. I lied. I do have some more practice problems for you guys, too. Um, let's just double check you guys got this down, okay? Let's do this one on your whiteboards. Okay, so you guys got 18y squared plus 3y. And let's go ahead and skip down to this last one. Go ahead and do that one on your whiteboards. That'll be the last one you guys do. Okay, so it looked like most of you had that one too. It was negative 2 a cubed plus 15 a squared plus 4a. And that's what I have for you guys today.